Yeah, hello guys again. It's your guy DJ Cliff and I'm back with this nice video for you guys. So today I just want to show you something about the uh, the virtual DJ application. Uh and it's very wise for me to share with you guys. And I know most of you are asking or uh, are wishing to know how I set my virtual DJ and I do kind of the best uh mapping custom mappings. So, um if you've not known how you can install first of all uh your virtual dj um this one the one i'm using the newest version i'm using the 2020 version and like you can see here it's uh, gray i can also show you how to install the license uh the licensed uh version of the virtual dj so let me just go straight to the point of today uh, the custom mapping so now i set these keys here in the virtual dj so we go you go to this section here you can see this button somewhere here you go right here then we go to uh, controllers and we see our custom mappings here so it's usually on the factory default the factory default like in the factory default, if you press letter maybe key number one, or let me just put it here. You press one, we see it is loop one. When we press two, it's loop two. Okay, let's press maybe C. We see it's Q, then stop. Isn't it? Then uh, Q, we see there's nothing. Let's press O. We see we have a reloop let's pray i mean let's press uh enter there's nothing on the return uh that's that's the factory default way on how the virtual dj looks like so we want to set our new custom mappings so you first go here then you say custom mappings isn't it so um you want to assign these letters or these keys kind of a job when you want to when you want to press something maybe kind of a, a certain drop or a scratch you just press this keys you just assign on this custom mapping so let me press maybe key number one so key number one let me assume there was nothing let me just delete this let me assume there was nothing so i want maybe i wanted this key to to play sampler number one on my sampler part here i want this mambo buyer sampler or sound effect to play so what i just do i just come here i press this one here then i come here and write um sampler sampler one remember to to space it's very important sampler sampler sorry sampler Space one space then you write play then remember you have to you, you, after you've, you've you've written sampler one you create a space you write one you create a space then you play then when you've written the play you come press shift and then you write this one so this one i think is a lowercase it's a lowercase then you write stop then that it is the same you go to two you write sampler two sampler you create space two and then play and then stop that's how it should be like so after you've done all your sound effects on the keys on this section here let's let's believe you've touched these keys right here so those are your sound effects number one two three up to zero or if you want to assign maybe k q something like that you can also do that now we want to put maybe um, a crossfader now let's save remember to save don't say no after you've done uh, some changes on a custom mapping so press yes now we want to do kind of settings of the cross i mean this crossfader we want to assign letters and uh, the, the letters and i want to show which kind of keys i'm using so um 
later you come here you press q so let's assume it was nothing so you want to use q so you just write cross fader cross fader then space then you write zero then shift then zero percent so cross fader will always be at this at this side this at zero percent towards the left this side is zero percent this side is zero percent and this side is a hundred percent while in the middle is fifty percent so first of all before you set your cross fader you have to know these values so let's go back again and see so this cross fader at zero percent and i use letter q letter s and let us see. So S is cross fader at 50%. C is cross fader at 100%. And then, uh, no, no, no. C is not cross fader at 100%. I use letter Q for cross fader at 0%. Letter E for cross fader at 100%. Letter S for cross fader at 50%. Letter A cross fader. Now, this one now adds plus 10, plus 10, plus 10 towards the right while c sorry i'm a bit con i'm a bit confusing here so this is what i'm saying q is cross fader at uh it's zero percent while e is cross fader at a hundred percent s is cross fader at fifty percent while c is cross fader plus ten percent while a is cross fader minus ten so this is how you can always put your cross faders. Like you can see Q is cross fader at 100% somewhere here. While S cross fader is at 50%. While E cross fader is at 100%. Then S 50, remember that, Q at 0%. And I've shown you how to write cross fader and you put sla, I mean uh, space 0%, all that. Then this cross fader minus 10%, what this means it means let's assume this cross fader was at this point here now you want to do kind of a, a very smooth transition you always you'll always press letter a slowly 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 up to zero percent and then this side of c is cross fader plus ten percent let me show you how you can write this cross fader maybe let's assume you had nothing there and you want to assign letter a uh, uh kind of a function there so you write cross fader sorry let me put in a small not in caps lock cross um fader then minus you just you don't tap anything just write 10 then shift uh sorry shift then percent so this cross fader at 10 percent and uh, s cross fader 50 percent i'm not gonna show you everything you know how to write this cross fader uh 50 percent so you've seen that's cross fader at 50 percent and then maybe e is cross fader at 100 percent you know you know how to do that so that's okay so i've shown you how you can set your keys these keys and this really you always use when you do you are scratching you are scratches this one you'll always use when you use your scratching and then i'm sure you've uh, already known how you can set all that um how the keys are used and then i usually use this button here you see this button here this if you have a notebook uh, a computer bigger like this size i usually assign also uh these keys even up to this side I usually use them so like i use the net net, net next track key to uh, equalize you write equalize low kill low like this is how it should be let me assume there's nothing you want to kill the best so you write equalize then slash lower slash the one then kill then kill then the thing you want to write is low you can write there low because at most when you see at the at the transitions the only thing that is always hard is the beats so you kill the low so i've assigned equalizer kill low so whenever i play a song and uh, i want to kill the low and i want 
maybe let me save this remember to do that you save i want to kill uh the bass while this a is playing and i want now the fella like this song is coming in uh when i play and this song is playing and i want to kill the bass from this side and i'm doing a transition maybe the crossfader was at uh, maybe 40 percent i kill the low of this side and leave the bass from this side and i have a very smooth transitions so um i i want you to learn the keys i use first of all make sure you set that and on my next video i'm just gonna show you how you can good you can do a very quality scratch using these keys that I've, I've showed you and uh i'll always appreciate when you like this video uh, when you comment when you share this video and uh, tell a friend about this channel i'll always be very grateful guys so if you don't want to miss other updates about the virtual dg application make sure you tap the notification bell then so that you get to to uh get the new videos and i'll always appreciate so those keys you've known and remember guys before i finish i usually prefer using um the old uh, main gui skins the old uh the old uh, uh interface i usually prefer using it so guys up to next time let's meet in the next video i love you guys bye bye